Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is day 25 of the RPG A Day 2019 challenge. Today's word is calamity. Now, there's plenty of post-apocalypse games out there. There's Powered by the Apocalypse, there's your Fallouts, there's your, there's your um, Mutant... Not Mutants and Masterminds, what am I thinking? Mutant, Chron Mutant Chronicles, and so on and so forth. But I want to talk about post-post-apocalypse. I mentioned this briefly when I was talking about Fragged Empire in that review. And while that one's a little bit more fantastical than, than certain other ones, but the idea of the post-post-apocalypse, as clumsy as that naming is, and I'm only using that because I can't think of anything better at the time, is a very fascinating concept to me because we all know that it's easy to do the whole oh, the world sucked after the bomb dropped, or the world was beautiful before the bomb dropped, and that, that kind of thing. That's all fine and dandy. But the idea of creating new civilizations and new, cult, new cultures and new mythoses on, to on top of the old world, and so much time peeking past that the quote-unquote old world is nothing more than myths or fables or the way that we'd look at, say, antiquity. I find this kind of concept fascinating. Maybe it's because of, maybe it's because of my love for a for a long form thing like Foundation, but the idea of instead of trying to re reconnect with the old, it ends up creating new creating new on top of the old. The while that was a good example in Fragged Empire, one other I want to put some degree of focus on and I will be reviewing this in the future, in fact, I've got, a, I've got a script in the back, is Degenesis, which could be described as the German version of Mutant Chronicles, even though that's kind of selling both games short. Degenesis is very much a post-post-apocalypse, but it's not at the same level of far future as Fragged Empire was. It's only a few, it's only a few hundred years instead of the thousands of years that Fragged was. In that, the apocalypse didn't come from nuclear war or anything like that, but from a meteorite that brought with it something known as the burn, which can create these post-human mutants that are known as, well, Homo degenesis. But what's interesting is, in part, the fact that the setting focuses primarily on Eastern Europe, after all, it is a German game, but also the various cultures and cults that have sprung up after things dropped. What certainly helps it is the art style, which was nothing to write home about in its original version, known as Primal Punk, but its newer version, known as Rebirth, which is the one I'll be covering, has an art style that is very fascinating in its details. And it kind of shows that whole mix of technological levels that I talked that I talked about previously. You do ha you do have a lot of post-apocalypse um, trappings, but it's set against a backdrop of things that are definitely of higher or even repurposed tech. There's variety in this style, instead of ev instead of everyone being either brown or cl or shiny, like in say Fallout. Don't get me wrong. I love me some Fallout, I love me some Wasteland, but I can only handle so much brown in my diet. You need to have your greens, man. The point at the end of the day is that when doing something apocalyptic, I think a lot of, I think a lot of people have far too narrow of a focus on what kind of stories they're going to tell with it. Because, like I said, the majority of the time, it's either before the bomb is dropped and everybody's panicking, or after the bomb is dropped and everybody's in a in a sorrier state. I think there's room to go for, to go further than that, and that's why I hope to see and possibly cover more post post apocalypse works in the future. 